Hello everyone and welcome to Kavinsky the Video Game, which was a beat em up made to promote one of his albums back in 2013. I'm only going to be showing off one of the four stages because with the way the game design works you really only need to see one. We just picked up a dirty magazine which fills up our special meter completely, which we can activate by pressing both attack buttons. So interacting with these arcade cabinets changes the perspective to this side-scrolling mode in case you didn't get that the game was side-scrolling beat-em-up inspired. That's what our special does, it just unleashes a flurry of punches. Each punch counts as one punch, I think. You don't get any kind of special extra attack power, you just perform more punches than normal. We changed the camera again because trying to play the whole game from that perspective would be completely nuts. It's really hard. So we have punches and kicks. Punches go faster and they do just as much damage as kicks. I haven't found a reason to use kicks. I think kicks might have a slightly longer range, but the difference is so small that it doesn't really matter. Using punches also seems to fill up your combo meter much faster. The combo meter is again that special attack we just used. All of the enemies are roughly the same, with some of them taking 7 hits and some of them only taking around 4. But they all attack exactly the same way. In case you haven't noticed, health pickups are numerous. I think this might be because the game developers thought that there was no kind of inherent strategy to the game. With a lot of beat-em-ups, it's about figuring out how the game works and then going from there. But with Kavinsky, it's kind of try to fight the enemies one-on-one, -on -one, and if you can't, you're going to get hit. Now, a lot of beat-em-ups are about separating the enemies so you can take them on one at a time. That's not bad game design, but most of them have throws or some kind of method you can use to separate the enemies. Kavinsky does not. But still, because the health pickups are so numerous, it's kind of impossible to lose. So the game is neither challenging nor fun to figure out. I feel the developers were definitely inspired by early beat-em-up aesthetic. The game looks great and the sound effects are awesome, but uh, it would have been nice if they were inspired by early beat-em-up game design also. I mean, it's not like I'm having a bad time playing it, but I don't have a bad time playing any beat-em-up. I'm not meaning to completely trash the game or anything, it's not like it's unplayable, it controls fine. There's just, there's just not a lot here. I feel like this could probably be mended by having the kick actually do something. It bothers me so much because usually in a beat-em-up when I find a mechanic that doesn't do something, it means I just haven't found out what it's for yet. But I've played through this game several times and I just can't figure out what the kick is meant to do. Also, this is barely of note, but I'm not sure what the timer is for. I cannot imagine taking that long to fight enemies. Usually in regular beat-em-ups, it's to stop you from being super methodical, but, uh... That's not exactly an issue here. Say hello to Ethan. Ethan is the boss fight, and he has the most design of anything in the game, really. The idea is to bait him into swinging at you so you can run around to his back and start punching him. It might appear that he has multiple health bars, but he really only has the one. I'm not sure why they're colored so differently. After he takes enough consecutive punches, he'll be stunned for a few seconds, meaning you can get in a few extra hits. Sometimes he just does a single jab, but that's not what we want him to do. We want him to swing. There we go. So there you go, that about wraps things up for Kavinsky, at least the beat-em-up portions of Kavinsky. There's just not a whole lot here. See you guys next time.